Well, I've been painting since I was a child, I think I, around nine or ten years old. My mother was a painter, um, and I remember her paint box and her canvases, and she started me drawing, actually, drawing little portraits. She would draw the face, and then I would put in the eyes and the nose and the mouth and uh, the hair, this kind of stuff. So I started with that. Um, Mom and Dad went to Europe one, one time and came back with a present for me of a set of Reeves watercolors from London. And I think I was nine or ten, as they say. And that's when I began painting, actually. And then my formal lessons began when I went to college. Uh, excuse me, high school when I was 15. And then when I went to college, I continued um, with my studies. But I'll never forget standing by my mother when she was standing at her easel uh, and watching her and the smell of the paints and then learning how to, to draw. And I was always fascinated with people's eyes, the most, actually. So those are my early memories. I was on a neti neti path, not this, not that. It was like, well, I know it's not this, and I know it's not that. I didn't know what it was, but through the process of elimination, I began. Uh, I started to find my way. Um, I just knew that my mediums were foils and watercolors. I, I didn't. I tried sculpting, and I knew that that wasn't my interest. And I liked the immediacy of having a pencil and a piece of paper or a brush in hand. I began to feel that I couldn't find the, the kind of art that I wanted, not in college, and that I was going to have to go it alone. Uh, so I continued, you know, after I left art school, um, to paint on my own um, in watercolors and in oils and continue drawing. So that went on until I got out to California and I started uh, doing some more studies at the California College of Fine Arts for a year or two, I think, I think it was two years. I was uh, beginning to feel like I was passing through a portal, really, looking through doorways. So I was thinking about this concept of moving from one perception into another and the portals that are representative of that. And this theme of doorways is, comes up a lot for me, I see, of moving or emerging from one space into another, emerging from deeper places up out into um, a more open space. And this is when I began spontaneously just painting in uh, red and black. And I, at that time, I really was wanting to limit my palette so that I could more clearly comprehend form and movement in the painting. This particular painting is from the same red and black series of 1997 when I was uh, just exploring, beginning to explore this whole concept of limited palette. I've always liked to work very loosely with uh, watercolors and again to to look at light as it moves through but also to evoke more of a feeling rather than to get caught in particulars and this is actually um, from my land in Nova Scotia it's a deep woodland um, swimming hole in the stream there and there was this light that was coming down through the through the trees at that time and I just thought it was so it was like a sanctuary this was the beginning of a whole series um, where I was, I had left the brushes behind and I was really working very directly. And again, using nature as a inspiration, but um, these are not plein air, I'm not working with uh, anything other than a memory of the feeling of where I was and allowing some of the forms and the, the experience to come through more. But 
it's one of a series that's still recognizable as a landscape. All right, this is called Light Field, um, and it's the last of this series that I began with the 2003 painting um, that we just looked at. And this was really when I was going even deeper into trying to express the vision I had uh, out in the fields when I was a child. Um, so here again I'm looking at um, trying to express the transparency of nature, the energy of it, and trying to use the colors that express how it impacts um, on me or the viewer. So there are primary colors in this um, in some ways to get at that sense also of this primary reality. So this uh, is one of a, a series of um, paintings I did from the time I was in Maui. Um, but again, it was the expressing in larger format the fluidity of watercolors and the desire to get at the energy of what I was perceiving in the light. So it was just much more free form, moving in sense towards some abstractions. So I began to move towards natural abstractions. This painting I did in 2005, um, it was one of those paintings, again, where I was moving into a deep place. I didn't know what was going to happen, and I just started moving with a sense of colors and movement. Uh, I call this water dance. I was into a whole series of water paintings, actually. All right. This is called Stone Spirit Walking. And this I did uh, 2000, the end of 2006. Um, and this is when I really started combining more and more the idea of watercolors and oils on the same surface so that I could create the textures and the qualities that I needed to express the various kinds of energies that I was experiencing. At this time, this was... Um, not long after my mother's death, and I was very much open to even more of this uh, non-material reality and allowing it to inform me in terms of speaking. When I did this painting, I was also thinking of like ancestors and um, the sense of my ancestral line is, is in stone and it's ancient and moves forward into the future. And here in this painting I felt like I was uh, coming ac across something buried deep in, in like a jungle space that was surrounded by beauty and light um, but that was solid and um, enduring. I began this in 2007 and I finished it in 2008. Um, this is um, called The Open Field and it's once again moving into an open field, feeling the energy of it and trying to express it for myself but also the vision I had as a child. So with this one it's even more uh, a watercolor and oil combination than the previous one and expanding the palette also uh, where I feel like I've been moving into more color again after being um, in a limited palette for some time. I did this as a self-portrait on my birthday last year and um, I was trying to tell the story of my experience as a human being, <laughs> also as a painter. And so what started out um, as an island became a volcano and then um, this being, which is my deeper self that sinks down into the depths of the ocean and holds the contact with this deeper energy that I allow to flow upwards and my experience of what it takes, for me anyway, to connect with this energy and to allow it to rise um, peacefully and to give it some way of expression that feeds me or feeds others, other people as well. 
So it's a story. My ancestors are down here in the corner, um, and up on the top is the the light or the manifest place. But the reality that three quarters of my existence, or most people that I know, is below the surface, and um, but that's where I spend a lot of my time is living below the surface. I first came to Amherst in 1976, and I was very interested in the sense of community here. Uh, I lived in the Bay Area at that time, and I started dreaming about New England when I was living in the Bay Area. And I'd come back and visit friends here, and I began to realize that I belonged in the country, I grew up in the country, um, and I wanted to come back to um, being able to be in nature more, feeling that I really belonged there. But I also didn't want to give up my sense of culture. And I felt like I found all of that here. I, found, I find community. I find um, open-mindedness and open willingness here. Um, I find people who are interested in exploring new ways of living and caring about community and taking care of one another. And I felt like my healing work, just as an example, um, would find a root here, and it has. And um, the year after I moved here, I ended up teaching at the UMass, um, a huge program that went on for eight years, um, which brought me into a greater sense of the community here. And so this is what keeps drawing me here. It's these three things. And of course, the nature, which is so important to me, too. Um, and I feel that I, here's a place where I can share who I am uh, with people and in turn receive from other people. And it feels very, very balanced here.